हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सीक्रेट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिजाइन ए एट मेगा थ्री टू एट पी माइक्रो कंट्रोलर बेस्ड वेदर स्टेशन पीसीबी यूजिंग की कैट सॉफ्टवेयर ओपन द की कैट सॉफ्टवेयर एंड क्रिएट ए न्यू प्रोजेक्ट आई एम नेमिंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट वेदर स्टेशन इफ यू वैन टू गिव इट ए डिफरेंट नेम यू कैन डू शो आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग द प्रोजेक्ट यू विल सी टू फाइल्स द फर्स्ट फाइल इज फॉर द पी सी लेआउट डिजाइन and the second file is for the schematic we cannot design the pcb directly before designing the pcb we need to create the schematic so open the schematic editor by double clicking on the schematic file after opening the schematic editor you will see a blank schematic sheet now we need to add component symbols to the schematic so open the symbol library first we will add the main microcontroller Search for the at mega three two eight p, and after finding it, select it and place it anywhere on the schematic sheet. After this, create a plus five volt net level and connect it to the BCC and ABCC pins of the microcontroller. Open the power symbol library and search for GND. After finding it, select the GND symbol and connect it to the GND pin of the microcontroller. Now we need to add a DC jack to power the circuit. So open the symbol library again and search for DC jack. After searching, select barrel underscore jack underscore switch and place it anywhere on the schematic sheet. Now connect the plus five volt net level to pin number one of the DC jack. This way, the software will automatically connect the BCC and ABCC pins of the microcontroller. to pin number 1 of the dc jack connect pin numbers 2 and 3 of the dc jack to the gnd symbol we will use a 5 volt adapter to power the circuit so i am changing the value of the dc jack to dc 5 volt power this is optional if you do not want to change the value of the dc jack that is perfectly fine we know that the microcontroller needs a crystal oscillator to function correctly so open the symbol library search for crystal oscillator select crystal and place it near the xtl1 and xtl2 pins of the microcontroller after placing it connect both pins of the crystal to the xtl1 and xtl2 pins of the microcontroller now we need to connect two ceramic disc capacitors with the crystal oscillator so open the symbol library and search for capacitor after searching Select C and place it close to the one pin of the crystal oscillator. Connect one terminal of the capacitor to one pin of the crystal oscillator. Next, we need to one more capacitor. So select the first capacitor, copy it and paste it near the second pin of the crystal. Connect one terminal of the second capacitor to the second pin of the crystal. Connect the remaining terminals of both capacitors to the GND symbol. We will use a 16 megahertz crystal oscillator. So change the value of the crystal to 16 megahertz. We will also use two 220 picofarad capacitors. So change the value of both capacitors to 220 picofarad. Now we need to add the SSD 1306 OLED display, but it is not available in KeyCat. So we will use a four-pin connector instead. Open the symbol library, search for connector, select a four-pin connector, and place it anywhere on the schematic sheet. Change the value of this connector to SSD 1306 OLED. Add a net level named STA and connect it to the first pin of the OLED connector. Add another net level named SCL and connect it to the second pin of the OLED connector. Copy the plus five volt net level, paste it. and connect it to the third pin of the OLED connector connect the fourth pin of the OLED connector to the GND symbol now we will use the four pin DST22 sensor module so add another four pin connector and change its value to DST22 connect the first pin of the DST22 connector to the plus 5 volt net level add a new net level named data and connect it to the second pin of the DST22 connector in the sensor module the third pin is not used so connect a 
no connection flag to the third pin of the DST22 connector. Connect the false pin of the DST22 connector to the GND symbol. Now connect the HDA net level to pin number 27 of the microcontroller and connect the SCL net level to pin number 28 of the microcontroller. Open the symbol library, search for register, select it and place it then connect it between the reset pin of the microcontroller and the plus 5 volt net level. Connect the data net level to pin number 4 of the microcontroller. Now connect the no connection flag to all the remaining unused pins of the microcontroller. Next run the ERC. As you can see, after running the ERC, we are getting two errors, input power pin not driven by any output power pins. To solve this error, we need to connect the power flag to all power input pins. Open the power symbol library and search for PWR flag. After searching, select PWR underscore flag and place it near the DC jack. After placing it, connect it to the plus 5 volt net level. Then copy the power flag. Paste it near the GND and connect it to the GND symbol. Now run the ERC again and this time you will see that there are no errors. Now we need to assign footprints to all components. Select the DC jack, open the footprint library and search for DC jack. Select the 3 pin DC jack footprint and click OK. After this select the crystal oscillator, open the footprint library and search for crystal oscillator after searching select the two pin crystal oscillator footprint similar assign footprints to all components one by one after assigning the footprints Close the schematic file and open the PCB file. Once the PCB file is open, go to the board settings, remove unnecessary layers and click OK. Open the board settings again and select blue for the front and back mask under the physical stack up section. Set the minimum clearance and minimum track width under the constraints section. After this, Click OK then click on update PCB under update PCB from schematic in the tools menu. After clicking update PCB you will see all the footprints of the components used in the schematic. Now select the edge cuts layer and draw a rectangle. After creating the rectangle place all the footprints inside it. Once all the footprints are placed, update the 3D model of the SHT1306 OLED display connector. You can download the 3D model of the OLED from the internet or from the link provided in the description. Similar to the OLED 3D model, Update the 3D model of the DHT22 sensor connector. You can download the DHT22 sensor 3D model from the internet or from the link provided in the description. After this, you can view the PCB in 3D. In the 3D view, you can see how the PCB will look after assembling all the components. Now close the 3D viewer window. Select the bottom copper layer and connect all the footprints together according to the thin blue guidelines.
to add a jumper or track in the front copper layer place a buy at the end of the track and add another buy on the second track after placing the buys select the front copper layer and connect both buys together now select the bottom copper layer click on the add field copper zone option and configure all the required settings after selecting the settings select the entire pcb area then press the b key on the keyboard to fill the copper zone area similarly add a filled copper zone in the front copper layer now in the 3d viewer you can see the pcb where the pcb does not contain any information to indicate the sensor directions or the required voltage so close the 3d viewer window and select the front silk screen layer after selecting it add the necessary information to the pcb using the text tool now as you can see the information is visible on the pcb in the 3d viewer our pcb is now ready if you want to make this pcb at home you can print the bottom copper layer layout by going to file print selecting the bottom copper layer and clicking the print button if you liked this video do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to watch more interesting upcoming tutorials